Hey guys, it's Michael, and today I'm reviewing the awesome, well, I'm assuming it's going to be awesome, the Canon PIXMA G7020 printer. Now, why I say it's awesome, because I already have a G4210 printer and been using it about six months. I've been very happy with it. Excellent print quality. Uh, the ink lasts forever, and this has a similar sized super tank. That's what they call it by Canon standard. It's called super tanks. And what that means is that you no longer have to buy these stupid little dinky replaceable ink cartridges that are super expensive for your inkjet printer. Instead, this uses bottles of ink that you refill the uh, ink tanks on the printer. And I've had my printer in service for six months now. Now granted, I don't do an excessive amount of printing, but my ink level is so high still, I haven't even had to fill my ink tanks yet. So I'm thinking that's pretty awesome. So they're saying about 6,000 pages that you can print from one full tank of black ink, and that goes up to about 7,700 color pages because you're using black and the color, so you even have a higher yield when you're printing in color. It's absolutely phenomenal. And the ink tanks, the ink bottles to refill your tanks are not that expensive. So this is really a great step forward in ink jet printing, in my opinion. And this is an all-in-one printer, so it's a printer, copier, scanner, and a fax. And this is it right here. Oh, it's a little bit bigger than my G4210, but I'll show you the comparison uh, once we get underway here. Now, I'm not a big unboxing kind of a guy, but I just want to actually walk you through this whole setup process here. So that's why I actually want to do sort of a unboxing video here, just so you'll know what to expect and uh, how easy the setup is. So let me reposition my camera. I'm going to show you everything from start to finish. Let's get started. Okay, again, if you uh, are a fan of my channel, you'll know that I don't do many unboxing videos. Uh, they just seem kind of pointless to me. But in this case, since I want to help you set up your printer when you get it, I think an unboxing video is, is a perfectly reasonable thing to do here. So once you open it up, here's what you're going to see. First thing you're going to see is your uh, power cable, and then this is your telephone cable to connect the uh, printer up to your telephone jack if you have one anymore. <laughs> this is almost uh, ancient history here, this cable. But in any case, that's what you get. And then also right in the top here, this is one of this is the color uh, print head, and this you will be installing in a little bit. Uh, you've got two pieces of styrofoam here that you can safely remove. Then they've got the printer uh, in a plastic bag. And then behind the printer, well, I guess we'll have to take the printer out. So let's do that right now. Just going to put it behind me momentarily. And then there's another piece of styrofoam in here. This is actually holding all the ink bottles. So you get three large black ink bottles. And then you get a set of color ink bottles. And then this is another, um, this is the black print head right here. So put that over here. And then you get your usual starting starter guide here, uh, getting started guide, regulatory information. And they do provide a CD, which uh, basically you don't need, but it is a setup CD. And you can get all this stuff online, so that's why I say it's not really necessary. So let's start taking the stuff out of the packaging and see uh, what the getting started guide tells us to do. All right, so basically here is everything that I just showed you just out on the table here. So for easy reference, again, we've got our ink bottles. We've got our color and black and white print heads. These are our power cables, and this is the uh, getting started guide here. So first thing I'm going to do is take the printer out of the plastic bag, and I'm going to put it over here on the table. Now, the first thing I want to tell you is they do have a QR code uh, on a sticker here on the top of the printer and that is going to take you to a setup process uh, produced by Canon. So if you want to watch that, you just scan that with your phone and uh, have at it. But we're going to do it here for you as well. And first thing you need to do is you need to take all these pieces of tape off. This just keeps everything secure for shipping. And there's probably more tape than you think, so you have to make sure you get it all. And they really like to, uh, they really like to, you know, 
secure everything securely for shipping. And I believe that's about it. All right, the next thing you have to do is you have to open the print head cover and that's right here. So underneath in the front, there's a blue button. You just push it and then this lifts up like this. Then you gotta get your print heads and the color is gonna go on the left and the black is gonna go on the right. So I'm opening up the color one right here and you have to remove this piece of tape very carefully. You don't wanna to touch any of this with your fingers. Don't touch any of this. Just remove that piece of tape and then you're also gonna remove the sticker off the top. Close the lid. Next thing you have to do is push these two buttons down till they click, click, click. Next thing we'll do is open up the black ink tank cover and then we're gonna lift up the plug that's closing off the top of the ink. Now we're gonna open up our black ink bag here. Take the bottle out of the bag. And unscrew the top. Now this part right here, you wanna be very careful. You do not wanna get this ink all over the place. It is uh, not something you wanna do, trust me on that. So what you wanna do is slowly stand the ink bottle upside down and push down on it to pour the ink. And you'll be able to see the ink level rise right here through this uh, front window. So you wanna carefully put this over and then gently push down. Okay, and once it gets to that upper fill line, again, you need to be careful taking the bottle off. You don't wanna drip ink anywhere. Good enough. You just carefully remove that, pick it straight up, and that has emptied our bottle, and we are completely full. So you can't overfill it really. Then you close this back down, make sure it's secure, and there you go, you've successfully put the black ink in. We're gonna do the same thing with the cyan, magenta, and yellow inks. We'll do one at a time. So we'll do the cyan first. Finally, our yellow. How about that? Didn't get one drop of ink anywhere. Amazing. <laughs> Close that. Just make sure they're all closed up. Close that door and you have just filled all your ink tanks. Next thing is to turn the printer on. So I'm gonna close the cover. All right, next thing is to connect the power cord. So I'm just gonna spin this around. And power is over here. There we go. And just plug your printer in. Now this is the operation panel. One of the things I really like about this printer versus the 4210 is that this flips up. Now the 4210 has its panel up on the top and I have a sliding drawer that my printer is on. I cannot see the display panel at all unless I pull the printer completely out. This uh, negates that. I don't have to do that anymore. So this has a nice visible display right here staring me in the face. So what we're gonna do now that we've opened this up is we are just going to push the on off button which is right here on the top left. So while this is uh, starting up, it takes a little while. It's just adjusting the print heads. It's getting ink into the print head. It's doing all sorts of uh, sort of self-diagnosis, I guess you could say. So we'll just let it do what it's gonna do. So now we're at the uh, language selection screen and we're just gonna go through this step-by-step. Step. We'll say okay for English. And uh, yes, we do wanna set it to English. 
So at this point, we do want this to be aligned to improve the print quality. So we'll just say yes. And then we're going to have to put some paper into the machine here uh, in the tray down here. So I will remove this. So this is your kind of standard print tray here where you're going to have to adjust the width. So we're just using standard eight and a half by 11 letter. So we'll just slide this down to the letter and the width. We've just adjusted that. Get your paper in there nice and square. Put your paper back in. And since we've got paper in there, then this is telling us to put two or more sheets in and then press OK. So that's what we're going to do. All right, once we've done that, the ne next message here on the display is prepare for connection. And uh, so we're going to press OK on that. And then it's telling us to how to continue by referring to the getting started guide. OK. Now it is possible at this point that you might see an error code and there's a number of different error codes that could be displayed. Uh, let me just show you the getting started guide here. So those are the various error codes that you might see and some of them are uh, very simple ones like you might not have removed all the protective materials or the print heads were not installed correctly, no print heads were installed or there may be insufficient ink, but we're all in good shape there. We had no error codes. So we're gonna to go to the next page. So here's where you're going to decide what are you connecting, your computer, computer and smartphone, or just a smartphone. So let's, uh, for the sake of argument right now, let's just say that we are going to connect to a computer. Uh, we are instructed to go to the website ij.start.canon. And we're going to select st setup and we select the printer that we have, which is the 7020. And we have to select it again here. And we're going to click start for the setup. So we've already uh, sort of doing the walkthrough video that we don't need to watch because we've already gone through that step. So now we're gonna connect. So download and run the software to start setup on your computer. So I'll do that right now. There is our software. So I'll double click on that. There's the setup, so I'm going to double click on that. Got to put in my password. I'm going to start setup. It's downloading all the software elements. Yes, agree. So now it's telling me to connect the printer to the following wireless router using a wireless connection. And it's telling me it wants to connect to my 5G. So we're just gonna say yes, I do want it to connect to the 5G. I'm going to always allow keychain access. Now I'm going to select the network that I actually want to use rather than the 5G. What it's telling me here is the network that I, uh, that my computer is connected to cannot be found from the printer, which means it does not recognize 5G. So I'm going to change this then to um, my non 5G. So now the printer is fired up, the software is connected, and it's, as it says, adjusting for first use. It says it's going to take about four minutes. So now it's printing out some, uh, some test patterns.
and I'll revisit this in a minute. And now where it's going to continue the setup program is it going to continue downloading some other utilities. Right now it's downloading a scan utility. And we're going to add the printer. So right here it says select the Bonjour multifunction. We do have the Canon G7000 series printer there. says here we are to select secure air print it's already been pre-selected and we are just adding the printer now to our printer list on our computer this is a MacBook Air that I'm using so we go to the next step and looks like we're just about done here says we're now able to print from the printer and meanwhile the printer has been chugging away here and it's not quite done yet but look at what it's printed so far so it looks like it's actually calibrating itself going through a calibration sequence here okay it's done it printed two sheets here and now on the computer uh, it's giving me the option to do a test print so I'm gonna click on that just to see whether that prints the exact same thing or not. Looks like it's going to print something different, so let's just print that out. Sort of gives you an idea of the print speed there as well. So you are now able to print from your computer. How about that? Yay! I guess we already knew that. So let's click next here. This is where we can go online to download additional apps. Don't really know what else is available, so let's just take a quick look. So this is trying to sell me an auto replenishment service. Not interested in that and these are something you can peruse but there are definitely some apps and things that you can download at this point well anyway there you go that's how you set up your printer and uh, then if you want to scan you can you can either feed it using this uh, or you can put it right on the flatbed using this area right here really like this printer uh, i'm sure it's going to work out really well and remember it is duplex which is fantastic and if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll try to answer them if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.